Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome to today's video. So last weekend, I went watching Church of the Cosmic Skull at the Breadshed in Manchester, which was completely sold out. Um, if you don't know who Church of the Cosmic Skull are, they are a prog rock band from Nottingham, and they started in 2016 with the first album, Is Satan Real? Um, I got into them by winning a ticket for a all day up by um organized by Eaton um rest in peace and I won a twenty five quid bar tab and a free ticket there which was awesome so and Church of the Cosmic Skull were headlining it so I thought I might as well get into them. So yeah that's how I got introduced to Church of the Cosmic Skull. So what did I think about the gig? Did I like it? Did I hate it? Let's find out. So opening things up was Reptilian Humanoid and they got things off to a great start. Um, not only were they really loud, they had some really decent songs just to back it up and also they had really great stage presence. Um, yeah, I've seen these guys live before and they definitely deliver live and that night was no exception. I think highlight for me was when they played Reptilian Humanoid which sounded so groove orientated you just had to move and also I really liked the faces that the guitarist was pulling when he was like doing some really awesome solos just the look of concentration and just like that look was just a sight to behold plus they got a random dude in a reptile mask on stage and that just confirms that they live amongst us so yeah. Up next up was Deltanor and I was listening to these um, dudes prior and I actually really liked them. They kind of reminded me of Earthless. So yeah, the sound was very like mid-paced stoner rock but it kind of had a lot of psychedelic elements which kind of was enough to put me in a little bit of a trance while watching them. Um, yeah, it just felt like one huge slab of stoner bliss which was what I needed and it just felt right, you know. So I'm pretty sure there were individual songs that they were playing, but to me it just felt like one just like huge song for about half an hour. The only thing I wasn't too keen on was the vocals. I'm not saying that they were bad in any way. They just didn't really mix well. It just kind of just sounded a bit like someone shouting through a, a microphone or something like that. Just yeah, but it was it was still good. While it was all mid-paced, towards the end they did like speed it up a little bit, which was pretty decent as well. So yeah, Delta Not rocked. So it was the last support band and it was Green Lung. I was really keen on seeing these guys after um, listening to um, Woodland Rights a lot on Racist Meadow of Doom. And I think a lot of people were also looking forward to them as well as the place started to get a little bit more packed. Now, you know me, I get really excited for a band, I start swearing a lot, but yes, Green Lung, fucking hell, they were fucking awesome. I don't know what they do differently from other stoner rock bands that get me so involved with it, but man, they fucking brought it. I guess they just had it all, they had a really good stage presence, especially with the lead singer, getting involved with the crowd, just talking to them. They had the riffs, obviously, and they just had really good sound. I was headbanging a lot. Yeah, it was incredible. My highlight was especially with the last song, Let the Devil In. I think that's one of the best songs. The only sad thing was that they didn't have Woodland Rights on vinyl. <sighs> Boo hoo. But yeah, what can you do? So, well, what can I say? As soon as the backdrop finished, um, which was a really nice touch, the band came on and they were welcomed with such applause. And from the first song, everyone was singing along. And that's the thing with Church of the Cosmic Skull. They've got such catchy choruses and some really good vocal harmonies that it's impossible not to sing along. I was definitely under their spell. With um, the song Mountain Heart, I uh, put my arm around the guy next to me, a complete stranger, and we just started singing along to the chorus. There were times throughout 
Church of the Cosmic Skull playing that I felt this wasn't just a gig it was a celebration because everyone seemed really happy even the most hard-faced metalhead that was there was singing along also I had to give mention to the fact that the lead singer Bill I think his name is um, made a really nice tribute to Eaton for, for the song Everybody's Going to Die which is one of the most happiest songs I felt that was a really nice touch what I feel about this band, I feel that they were probably born in the wrong generation. But when a time when everything is shit and this world is completely bleak, I'm glad a band like Church of the Cosmic Skull exists. And one thing that sticks out to me the most was like their last song that they played, which is called Revolution Comes With An Act Of Love. And... There's one lyric and that song that gets to me the most and that is all we gotta do is sing along and I felt that was perfect. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the gig and they're on for a really good long time which was, I felt like I got my money's worth. So yeah, it was really good. While the Woodland Rights vinyl wasn't there sadly, I did manage to get the Free the Witch EP which they had on sale there so I bought that and I also got it in this really lovely colour. Which one second, I'll show you. It is green! You might not be able to see it because of all the light but yeah, they had this in so you know I thought why not. And I bought one other thing as well. Um, science fiction on cassette by Church of the Cosmic Skull. I wanted to buy one of their albums because I've only got um, Is Satan Real on uh, my iTunes which I bought from Bandcamp ages ago so I wanted to buy a CD or vinyl but I thought I already got some vinyl so I got a cassette because you know I'm building up a tape collection as well and I really like this album as well. Plus uh, my friend got me um, a free download code for Delta Nauts, um latest album so yeah pretty good in the merch department okay so that was me talking about the church of the cosmic skull gig at the bread shed in manchester were you there please let me know what you thought about reptilian humanoid delta Nauts, green lung and obviously church of the cosmic skull down below in this comment section like always if you've enjoyed watching this video please like share and subscribe it really helps me out I'm also on Facebook as well, so if you want to go on that and give that a like, um, I promise to post some decent content on Facebook as well. And yeah, my next gig will hopefully be Ohms in a week. Really looking forward to that. There's some really decent support bands supporting Ohms as well. So yeah, that's it from me. I've been the dude who talks. You guys have been fucking awesome, and we'll see you soon. Oh, still here. Alright, well the video's ended, but while you're still here, I'll just let you know there's videos to the left and right of me. So, yeah, get watching if you want. Um, talk about cool shit like music and live stuff where I go to gigs, um, talk about vinyl haul and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, fill your boots.